Hey everybody, this is Graham from Expiro. I'm a data scientist over here. Uh, this week focused on um, relating pieces of unstructured data. So we'll talk about what unstructured data is formally in a second, but let me give you an example first. We had a customer recently who was interested in relating their internal emails and their internal research findings just in just written up in documents. Um, they wanted to do this so that they could correlate pieces of research and if they if they wanted to find out all of the information on one bit of research they could pick out all the email all the emails and all the research associated with that so obviously we can't show you customer data so i'm going to show you some uh, obfuscated data today which really is just some news data that i scraped off the internet so each one of the data samples you'll see is a news article and we've related them, again, this is just text data, unstructured. We've, we've related them using two different algorithms. The first algorithm is the thing that correlates this unstructured or messy data uh, in an automated way. All that does is builds up a high dimensional, so called high dimensional representation of the data. And it correlates it because all of those data are now represented in the same high dimensional space. As you can see on the screen here, we have colors on the data samples corresponding to their category. Again, this is news, so we have the news category here. The second algorithm I mentioned is the thing that projects that data, that high dimensional uh, correlated data, into this low dimensional, three dimensional in this case, space. And we can see these green dots are all sort of, um, uh, uh, let's say, more quantitative or, or hard-hitting news articles like politics, world news. And on the other side of the spectrum, we have this uh, sort of lighter um, entertainment and comedy type of information. We can use another algorithm instead, and you can see that running in real time here, to build clusters of this information. And we do indeed see here the same type of clustering. Again, we start with unstructured data, news articles in this case. We don't know anything about these news articles. We let our unsupervised algorithm run on this unstructured data, relate it all in high dimensional space, and visualize it then in this um, compelling 3D visualization. Or indeed, you could build a, a more sophisticated visualization system. Before I run, I just wanted to mention, we do a lot of graph work here at uh, Expiro. And included in that work is machine learning graph related work. Um, if we relate our unstructured data to itself, uh, thereby sort of building up clusters, we can actually build links between the data in each cluster and build a graph, potentially even linking those data by their distance to each other in the graph. Thanks for joining us.